everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you enjoy diamond painting videos, feel free to subscribe. And today I am here with a Diamond Art Club unboxing video. This kit is called It's Okay to Be Different, and um, this was one of the two releases that Diamond Art Club put out this year for Autism Awareness or Autism Acceptance Month. This artwork and the fact that they did one of these releases is incredibly meaningful and special to me. Um, I am part of a neurodivergent or neurodiverse family and am myself. And so seeing Diamond Art Club release artwork with this kind of imagery and in support of the autistic community just really means the world to me. And I was really incredibly touched when I saw this particular artwork, if you didn't know, the rainbow infinity symbol is typically used to represent neurodiversity in general. And then a gold infinity symbol, which you can see the gold that's throughout this, is specific to autism, um, for the gold infinity symbol, that is. So I am looking forward to getting into this diamond painting kit with you. Um, I think it's going to be a special unboxing today. So it's going to have square shaped diamonds and it's going to be 58.8 by 42.8 centimeters. And I believe it's going to be a what's called a partial diamond painting. And that's where not the entire image is going to have diamonds on it. Part of it is just going to be printed on the canvas. But we'll take a look at it closely uh, together in just a bit once we open this up. Diamond Art Club uses some blue branding here for their square drill diamond painting kits. And then on the back, there's some information about how to diamond paint, as well as what your kit contents will be. And then there is a QR code here at the bottom that you can scan for 10% off your purchase. If you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase, I do have a discount code that you are welcome to use. I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate, though I did purchase this kit myself, just so you know, I do sometimes show Diamond Art Club sneak peeks here on my channel of new releases, but this was one that I, I did buy. Um, anyway, I have a 20% off discount code for first time Diamond Art Club purchasers. It is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And um, I may make a small commission though if you use it, so don't feel obligated. You'll see some other discount codes in this video that I just recommend pick one, take advantage of it. <laughs> don't don't spend full price on your Diamond Art Club order. Um, did I feel something come loose? No, okay. I wasn't sure if the toolkit had managed to open there in the box. Here's our toolkit, you guys. It's uh, printed on the back what all is going to be included. And let's take a look. All the different little elements here. All right. So you are going to get a pen and a squishy. The color on these will vary. And then you'll also get some thin plastic multi-placers. You can pop into the end if you want to of your pen if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time and occasionally dropping them. I believe it's a four placer and a seven placer that have been included. You're gonna get some tweezers. They are a bit sharp on the end, so I recommend keeping that cover on when you're not using those. We also have some pink heart wax in this little caddy here. There is a thin plastic film on the top there. You wanna make sure you peel back before you try to load up your pen with that wax. I do like that wax a lot and I use it in my single placer pretty often actually. You're also gonna get a tray. This is a tray stopper. You can just pop in the end if you wanna help stop your diamonds from sliding out. We've also got a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in there. And then we also do have a roll of washi tape. Now, um, the print on this will vary and I do have a video that'll be linked in the description below that uh, demos the ways that I use washi tape with diamond painting. So feel free to check that out if you're wanting to see more. You're also going to get a cover minder. There's magnets on the back. This style on this is going to vary and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting. So pretty solid toolkit in my, my personal opinion. And the Diamond Art Club also does include this logbook sticker sheet. So I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a diamond painting kit. I love that it has the original artwork as well as um, some of the stats and information. Some people will put this on the side of the box to help organize their stash, or you could find something else crafty to do with it. Everything else will be included in this plastic bag, dust cover, with the branding on the front. And all right, here we go. Oh, my heart is just, my heart is full. <laughs> my heart is so incredibly full, you guys. Um, 
yeah, no, this is, this is making me really incredibly, incredibly happy. I feel very seen. I feel very seen on behalf of my kids and for myself. It's just really incredibly, it's just, it's really touching and, and beautiful artwork. I'm not, I just swear I'm not milking it for the camera. I just, I don't try to get into any kind of performative things when it comes to differences or things that I relate to or awareness months and stuff like that. This just, you know, April is Autism Acceptance Autism Awareness Month and it just, I, I, feel, I feel it very keenly and very personally. So anyway, I'll, I'll not dwell on that too long. Um, we do have our diamonds here. I'm excited to look at these because I do know this comes with a heap of special diamonds. Uh, but we'll look at those in a bit. First though, let me show you what else was included. There is a note on the front with a thank you note from the founder and then your kit contents. And then this QR code will take you to a beginner video. I also have a diamond painting for beginners video that you will find linked below in the description box. Here's a QR code that'll take you to their VIP Facebook group. That is a handy resource that you can join once you've made your first purchase. And then here are some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, some tips and tricks, and yet another discount code. In the back here, you've got QR codes. For the mobile app, you do get 20% off purchase, your first purchase in the app itself. So if you want, you could be totally strategic about how you're using your different coupon codes. Uh, you're also gonna get this larger sticker sheet. There's the title here, it's okay to be different. Interestingly, I wondered about this when I saw this social media preview. This just says buy Diamond Art Club. I wonder if this was like an in-house artist. I know they have at least one. Um, I am curious if they just had someone in-house in create this, um, or I don't know exactly how that works, but as far as licensing and all of that goes, everything Diamond Art Club does is above board, and so I'm confident that this is all good to go as far as licensing and art artwork goes. But there's a bigger look at the original artwork. Here's the stats again. And then over here we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. I love that these are pre-cut out for you. You can kit up your diamonds from the baggies they come in into you know storage containers or resealable bags really easily that way. And then it looks like we're gonna have 25 colors in total in this kit. Not a ton, especially for one that is a rainbow of colors, but I love it. Um, the color code system you see on the right hand side, this comes from the DMC color code system or the DMC brand of Floss. Most diamond painting companies do use this system. Diamond Art Club has a few exceptions though. So first, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special type of diamond called an AB. So we're gonna have four AB colors in this kit. Then if you look at the bottom of the list, you'll sometimes see colors that have a letter in front. And this particular kit has four colors, four additional special drill colors here at the end of this list, three different special drill types. So the letter K, um, is going to denote, I believe, an electro diamond, which is going to have a metallic finish. The ones with the letter L, I believe that's going to be an elect, I'm sorry, um, an iridescent diamond, which is going to have a crystal finish. I hope I'm not missing out the L and the K. We'll look at the diamonds and I'll be able to tell you better. And then the one that starts with the Z is going to be a fairy dust diamond. So I know I'm throwing a lot of terms at you. We're gonna look at them, it's gonna make sense. Also, I do have a video where I actually demoed all of Diamond Art Club's current special drill types and you get to see them all like side by side and on a canvas. So if you're interested in that, you know what to do. Check the description box. There's, There really are, I, I feel like I've said that a lot, but truly I've tried to include a lot of helpful links down there for you guys. Now let me take you on a little tour of this canvas. So there is their branding at the top, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. If you take a look, you'll see here that yes, there are some areas of the canvas that do not have any diamonds. The whole background is just uh, printed canvas color, as are the words, which I like because they're you know really de legible. They are legible. I didn't want you to think I said illegible. <laughs> They're very legible, easy to read and stylized. And then the areas where the diamonds are, that's the those are the only areas you're gonna see the glue. So there's no glue here, but there is glue once you peel back the plastic cover and get to those areas. So the plastic cover itself, you guys, you can see it really easily on this canvas actually. This does feature the newer perforated plastic cover that has these perforated sections that you can make use of if you like. It's a newer feature and each of the full size sections is about four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters ish. 
and you can ignore them if you like, you know, just work on a painting however you normally have otherwise. But if you choose to use the perforated sections and you're, you know, you're ready to separate them, all you have to do is just kind of grab it from either side and then give it a tug and it, it'll split down that perforation. So there you go. Um, the edges of diamond art clip canvases are scalloped and poked, so you shouldn't have to worry about any fraying, thankfully. And the backing is this really nice and soft material that I really like a lot. <laughs> and uh, the material, like kind of the canvas itself, it's really sturdy and malleable. I feel like, I mean, you can see it's laying flat really easily. I think it holds diamonds really well. It's just a really high quality canvas material in my personal opinion. We have a legend or a color code list here at the top left, as well as over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, we have um, the thumbnail, the original artwork, and then the name and the title, and then copyright again. So again, it looks like this must have been done in-house in some sort of way. And uh, I'm just believing and trusting that like all of their other kits that it is above board in terms of the artwork being licensed. Down here, we do have information about their socials. That's the best way to stay up to date on their new releases. And there's yet another discount code. At the bottom right, you'll find information about their lifetime warranty. I think all the details are on their website, but if you run out of any colors or have any kind of trouble with your kit, I recommend contacting their customer support to get you taken care of. So this kit really does have a lot of what we would call color blocking. Color blocking is where you have a lot of the you know same color in an area like this you can just multi-place your way right through here. It'll zip right along. Um, and I like just how these color families, there really are a lot of color blocking kind of lines and whatnot. There is some of what you would call confetti though. Confetti is where you have maybe some more color changes in a small area. The areas of this canvas that have that confetti, it's pretty light. I mean, this is not a huge canvas, so I don't think that's gonna be a really particularly huge issue. It's This definitely is a more color blocking heavy canvas in my opinion. But yeah, confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area and maybe you'll, sometimes it looks like literal confetti kind of like it does here. Uh, you'll be doing a little bit more single placing of those areas and you'll be changing out the color in your tray a bit more often. Did I say that backwards when I was talking about color blocking? In color blocking, you'll have the color in your tray for longer. Sorry if I misspoke, but there's a look at that canvas as far as the dimensions and measuring because I do like to always just sort of check to see um the dimensions it gives it has a 58.8 by 42.8 I am guessing that is going to be the design size but let's just out of curiosity if you're curious like me okay so I'm measuring the where the image starts like the background uh, color not where just the drill field starts um and yeah that's 58 and a half ish it's listed as 58.8. This way, again, I'm measuring the full, like where the color of the image starts. That's almost 43 centimeters and it's listed as 42.8. So yes, the dimensions it gives, they're not trying to tell you what the dimensions are of the drill field because that would be tricky to do with a partial. Instead, that is the dimensions just of specifically the image and where kind of that ivory or pale yellow kind of starts here uh, on the background. So there is that. Now let's look at these diamonds. I'm excited to see these special drills. There's a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with. Just in case you store these separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. There's that little rainbowy color spread. Let's take a closer look. And right off the bat, we have one of our many special drills in this kit, K444. K is, um, this denotes an electro diamond. And if you look at these, that pale yellow you're seeing is, is the base of the diamonds. It covers up the symbol, goes on the canvas. What you're gonna see once the diamond is down is, let me zoom you in, it'll be easier. That gold metallic, Let's see on this side maybe. All those flat backs wanna come to the top, okay. That gold metallic look. So, yep, love that. A really, really striking special drill effect. You don't see a ton of electro diamonds in diamond art club kits. They really are showstoppers though, when they are, you know, the artwork does make sense to have it and they are charted in. Um, here's our first AB color. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And these are a pretty common special drill type at diamond art club, but these get their name from the Northern Lights. And just like the Northern Lights have um, a really shimmery kind of color shifty effect, so too does the iridescent coating on the tops of these 
diamonds. These are really eye-catching and will really highlight the areas that they have been charted. And then, gosh, so many special drills, one right after the other here. Uh, here's our first iridescent diamond, L780, and this is one of our crystal effect diamonds. These have a mirror backing on the, on the bottom that is going to not only cover up the symbol, but also really help with reflecting that crystal effect on the top. So these are kind of like a orangey topaz crystal iridescent diamond. And then we have some blues. And then we have a couple more ABs. We have this bright orange AB, 133. And then we have this kind of pale chartreuse AB, greenish yellow, 135. And then just getting through about every color of the rainbow here. Love it. Here is, I think this is our last AB. I think we had four ABs in total. Yeah. So our last AB is a pale yellow AB. Really pale yellow. Got green to wrap us up here. And there's one more strand. Let's take a look. These are these are slightly bigger bags, actually. Uh, so we have a big bag of 310 here. That'll be doing some of the outlining on the symbol. And then L782. This is, let's see, let's compare really quick because those look similar initially. I think this one's lighter. Okay, yeah. So this one is lighter than the first one we looked at. This one is more of a yellowish crystal, L782. And that is a big bag of that color, that iridescent diamond. Ooh, I can't wait to see where this one's gonna go. I see a straggler round, <laughs> round in there. But no, this is a square drill kit, so. And then last but not least, you guys, we have our fairy dust color Z972. Now this one has certainly the most subtle effect of any of the other special diamonds we've looked at. Fairy dust colors, uh, fairy dust drills at Diamond Art Club have a really subtle glitter coating that's been brushed on the top. It really closely matches the diamond color, kind of the base color. It's more of a subtle effect for sure. It's more shimmery than like ABs are really sparkly and eye-catching and then metallics, the electro and crystals, the iridescence, those have extremely distinct effects. But this is, this is my favorite special drill type that Diamond Art Club has, <laughs> nice and subtle, but still really elevates a painting in my, in my personal opinion. So what I like to do now is find where these different special drills are going to go. And there are a lot, so please do bear with me. I think I'm just gonna go one at a time from the top. So we kind of have that um, pinkish magenta AB, and that is this color right here, this bright pink. And it goes all the way around. It's all through there. Um, yeah, and that's kind of where it stops is here. And then our pale yellow AB, that was the number two. Okay, so the pale yellow AB is in the center of some of these sparkles, like the center of this one, center of this one, center of this one, a center of a couple of these sparkles, um, a center of a couple of these sparkles. And then also um, there's a couple of that pale yellow AB sprinkled throughout this gold part that's looping around. And let me see if it's anywhere else. There's a line of it right here. That's the still on the pale yellow AB. And that, yep, yeah, that's the pale yellow AB. The next up we have that light orange AB. The light orange AB is coming through here, kind of in the middle of the, the red colors as you're seeing them in camera. It's coming down here. And then there is, let me see, did I see it over here? Yes, it comes over on this side too. That's our orange AB, it's right there as well. And then the last AB we had was kind of a light chartreuse color, kind of a pale yellow greenish color, AB. That is this color in here. And it's over here. There's a little line of it here. And does it come around? It does. It's kind of, it's outlining a lighter green, or it's outlining a brighter green kind of outlines on this side and this side, and there's some of it kind of traced through over here too. So those are our four AB colors. Now let's get into some of our other special drill types. First, the gold electro diamond. Um, that is, okay, this symbol. Yeah, so the gold electro or metallic diamond, there's a 
ton of it. Um, in fact, it's often side by side with the L72. Okay, so yeah, the Gold Electro and the darker, that is the darker one, yes? No, it's not the lighter. Okay, so the Gold Electro and the lighter of the iridescent diamonds, L782. These are found side by side. Um, actually, so is, so is, oh, you know what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> this could be really tricky to demonstrate to you. Let me pull you up close and I'll explain why I'm having a tricky time with this particular one. Okay, so if we look just at this heart alone. So the one that looks like, a, well, the one that is a triangle kind of pointing to the upper right. That symbol is the lighter of the iridescent colors, the kind of pale yellow, the yellowish one. And then the one that's like a circle on the side of a line, like right there, that is our gold electro diamond. The letter H is the darker of the iridescent colors. And the letter J is our fairy dust color. So this heart alone has all four of those special drill types in it. Uh, so that's why it's gonna be hard for me to show you guys exactly where these different special drill colors go. Even if you look at uh, just sort of the gold outline here, literally all four of these symbols, the triangle, the bump, the H and the J, those are those four different special drill colors. They're going all throughout this gold outline. Um, the J is the fairy dust. That one is sprinkled more lightly throughout. So it's just gonna give a little subtle effect. But then both of those, <laughs> those two iridescent colors and the gold electro are just all throughout where you're seeing the gold in this outline you guys the letter j is also found in these sparkles here so that fairy dust color is going to be in the sparkles it's down here as well the sparkles the letter j again is going to be our fairy dust color coming over here as we kind of follow these gold outlines just chock full of those special drills again even yeah over here too and in these hearts it's the there's the fairy dust and there's the gold electro and the lighter of the iridescent colors and then the later letter h is the darker of the iridescent colors and that fairy dust okay so aside from that gold outline um the fairy dust color which was this kind of orangish fairy dust, this light orange is the fairy dust color. There's quite a bit of it through the center of the symbols as well. So it it also has some spaces that are right not right next to the electro and iridescent diamond. So it's through these colors and it actually comes up through here too. And it's gonna give this infinity symbol that much more shimmer, even like in the middle too. It's through here. It's actually the outline of this heart and also comes up and around here. So um, suffice it to say, tons and tons and tons of special drills. I love that they went all out on this one. I love that we get electro and two iridescent colors and a fairy dust color just all through all of that gold. I think it's gonna look incredible. And all the different rainbow colors, the four different AB colors, I just, I feel like it's just so perfect that this is a kit that they're like, you know what, we're completely doing this artwork justice. We're blinging it, you know, as much as we can get away with and then some, and I adore it. This is wonderful. My heart is so happy and so full. And I don't know if I want to work on this immediately this month as part of Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month, or if I want to put it in my rainy day stash and just sit and savor it forever. And if you're interested to hear more about my story and um, what led to my own autism diagnosis and what that journey has been like, I am planning to share about that more in a whip and chat later this month. Um, but I just hope that if my fellow neuro, I call it neuro spices are out there. And if this helped you feel a little bit more seen like it did for me, I just, 
I'm so, I'm so happy for you too. So you guys, please let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this one? You certainly don't have to, you know, be neurodivergent to have, you know, gotten and appreciate this artwork. If you love it, get it. You're absolutely good to work on anything that is bringing you joy. You guys, we're not into, you know, no gatekeeping happening here, but I would just love to hear if you picked up this one or there's another really beautiful autism awareness, um, an acceptance month piece that Diamond Art Club released on the same day as this one. But this is the one that was really speaking and calling to my heart. So uh, let me know what you think. Do you love all of the special drills that they have added? Uh, are you, if you have this one, are you going to work on it this month right away? Or are you going to hold on to it for a bit? And stay tuned. I, I may try to work on this one this month as well. We'll see. But Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I really thank you so much for spending some time with me today and joining me just for what was a little bit of a more emotional and special unboxing for me personally. And I appreciate that you guys let this channel be a, a safe space where it's okay to do that kind of thing. And I, I just, I hope it brought you some joy today too. So I welcome you to subscribe if this you know, diamond painting kind of content is your thing. I'd love to have you here. Thanks again for watching. I really hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.